Hey guys, this is Star Spirit again. Um, this time I'm going to show you guys how to administrate. After you guys have installed Procon and set up the uh, just basic connecting to your server part um, of the video series, very small video series, nothing special, um, you're now on this screen where you're in the Players tab and you have all this information. Um, I'm just going to cover how to do basic admining stuff um, that you just need to know. Just to bait, get your server going and keep it moderated in a sort of sense. Alright, so let's begin. Um, once you're connected, you have all these things. You don't really need to mess around with the tools. You don't need to mess with this unless you have multiple servers uh, running. In this case, I have sort of two servers running. Um, this is just connected to one of these two. But, um, let's move on. Uh, right here, it tells you what uh, game mode you're running, what map you're running. It even gives you the technical name, MP underscore 003, which is the uh, technical name for Tehran Highway um, gives you how many round or what round this is. This is one out of two, uh, rush, and then tells you how many uh, minutes and seconds you've been on this round. So it's been 24 minutes and 15 seconds. And then you can click uh, to this to restart the round if you feel the need to. Would recommend you guys never do because it usually depopulates the server. I only use it really for testing purposes. Or you can run the next round. Um, which I would recommend you guys not do unless you're doing it for testing purposes as well. If you hover your mouse over the accepting players, um, you can tell if the server is a quick match, uh, join queue enabled, and other information. This is mainly for the people developing the server, and that you don't really need to know this yourself. Um, and the rest of this information you don't really need to know either. Um, this uptime will only tell you the uptime of the Procon layer. Usually the Procon layer follows the uptime of the actual server itself, um, if the guy has it set up right. So in this case the server has been up for 17 hours. Usually these servers restart at um, 2 in the morning, depending if there's players or not in it. If there's no players, it restarts. If there's players, it'll restart when the players all leave. Um, so now let's get down to the basic administration. Um, you have me in the server, yay, and then what you can do is you can click on me and then it'll bring up this little area right here and it gives you the punkbuster GUID which you can use to uh, report a player um, if you have meta bans enabled in your server which I don't currently um, you can actually ban people like that put in a report and reason easily through Pocon and it'll actually people will investigate it and if it turns out to be true say he is hacking he will be banned on all servers running a meta bans plugin um, if the server is not running meta bans plugin, they will not be banned unless they're punkbuster banned. Which they're, I'm not going to get into the difference between them. Uh, it's a another story, but you have your punkbuster GUID, and then you have the EA GUID, which is essentially their name given to them by EA, which you can ban them universally from all servers that you own, essentially. And also gives you the IP address of me. Um, I probably should blur that out. Um, I'll do that later. Okay, um, and then also you have kill, kick, permanently ban, temporary ban, and whatnot. You can click any of these and then you can type in a reason and you can kick their name, kill their name, or when you go to ban it gives you some extra options. You can ban their IP, ban their GUID, or their name. A lot of people ban by name so then the player will go change their name and then they'll get back into your server recommend you ban them by their GUID if you want them banned. Um, you can ban through the EA banning process or you can ban through Punkbuster, your choice. EA is the easiest one because it's already there. Punkbuster is if you really want to use Punkbuster. It's all up to you. Um, you also have the right click things where you can move the player, um, choose their team, choose their squad, um, and whatnot. And then you also have text moderation, which uh, normally this person can talk to everyone. And admin, this person can only be seen in the chat box by admins. Or if you set the voice, only people within the voice chat group can see it. And muted, if you set them to muted, they just, none of their stuff will show up in the text chat box. You can add them to a reserve slot as well. Uh, if you want them to be, say you have a premium only thing or you have uh, reserve slots which I think reserve slots are actually a little uh, more higher level than premium too so if this person is a reserve slot and your service will kick someone else out so he can get in stuff like that 
Um, if this person is suspicious, you can actually go to Stats Lookup at MetaBands. You can click on that, take you to the website, and it'll show you some stuff. I haven't been banned at all. I have almost no information on me. Good. I'm a good player. Yay. And you can also trigger a PV screenshot if you want to. This, I'm not going to get into this because it's a whole other thing, and Punkbuster really isn't as good as I was hoping it to be. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this option at all. It's just inefficient. Um, next, we'll move on to the chat tab, where you can see everything, except this server is a bad uh, server to example, because there's nothing going on. I'm the only one in there, it's pretty lonely, but let's go to, say, this is a program for another server we have. You can see we have all the kills, people who are leaving, people who are joining, this guy killed this guy with a SKS 45 rifle and all kinds of stuff. It even tells you what plugins are doing and whatnot, like player yell, ice, blah 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 blah. And uh, that's done by a plugin actually. But you can see all the stuff. Now you can um, do a say, you can type in a say, and then it'll show up in the text box, or you can do a yell and have it display for 45 seconds. And all you do is just type whatever you want to yell or whatever you want to say or you can yell to specific players and you do all that and then you click send or you can clear chat I never clear chat because I usually like looking for things but that's the basic chat area um, of course you can uncheck these so you don't see all this stuff and you only see certain things I prefer it all on because I like to see what's going on the events tab essentially the same thing as the chat thing uh, the chat tab not to sound like an idiot um, except this is a little more technical and not as uh, easy to read. Not, no flashy colors, none of that. Um, you can use this if you want to as well. Um, and as far as that goes, um, you can go to the console if you know how to read this. I mean, you can go nuts with this, but definitely a lot harder to read. As you can see, it's just going insane. It's hard to follow. I can easily read it because I've been looking at this thing for a while now. But players who don't easily know what's going on, I'd recommend you don't use this at all. As well as, um, if you guys want to, you can also see who is logged in. Um, except on your end, you'll see the parent layer. Oh, you can't really see. Okay. So, on a lower, when at a lower privilege level, you can't see some extra tabs. So you can't really see who's logged in or whatnot, but you still have access to the console. Alright, cool. Um, and that concludes this video. Next video I'll cover up some more advanced things as far as setting up a Procon layer and actually getting a server set up with Procon and that kind of thing. Thank you for watching.